All right, guys. So today, I know it's been a minute, but I'm going to review or just give my opinion. Everybody says review. I'm going to give my opinion on the new Bronc V5. Now, by the time that I'm making this right here, they actually came out with the V6, which looks identical to this, except for the grip part right here is wider right here and it's a japanese motor but which is a, not as good motor in my opinion that's why it's cheaper it's like 159 on the hummingbird website and this one is like 198 because this one comes with a swiss motor so it's a uh, 4.5 watt um, swiss motor and it runs they don't want you to run, they recommend that you don't run it past 8.5 volts because you don't want to burn up your motor, you want it to last long. And you don't need to make it go faster than it anyways. But, I'll give you my opinion on what I think about this machine. <clears throat> okay, so, talking about this machine, I might as well bring out the uh, hybrid one and the uh, first version pen, which as you can see all the dang letters I actually have a B right there all the dang letters fell off because they're not um, printed on it they were they were stickers so that's the only downfall on that but so this is version one it's got a bigger motor in it bigger like five watts I believe and it tops out at like seven they say don't go past seven I think and if you can see it um, it twists right there that's you know how you adjust the depth, the needle depth. Uh, this one, uh, the hybrid, same thing. This one's really small. You do it right there, which is the mo it makes it so difficult to do with this one. That's the only problem I have with this one is it's little and I like to put grips on my thing. So it's like, it's hard to turn after putting a grip on and everything. So, but that, that motor in this one is the exact same motor that's in this one. So, those two twist like that. This one, this whole piece, this whole black piece, you twist to adjust the, the length of the stroke or the needle depth, sorry. Not the stroke length. Um, so there, there's that and there's the actual grip. So it's really easy to wrap this up and keep it really nice and clean um, and sterile so that you don't have to worry about your machine getting ink and blood and everything in it um so sorry i keep saying um my opinion okay so this one i really enjoy i do black and gray mostly or i do like neo-traditional with neo-traditional i don't use this one that much only because i use bigger um groupings in, uh, with my liners and shaders i use bigger uh needle groupings and this one has a hard time pushing um, like nine round liners and up like it's really hard for it to align with all that so um, I love the machine and everything it's just it you know it's not made for big thick lines you can always go in and build up your lines with a smaller grouping but I don't like to do that too much I usually like to get a big thick line so I use coil machines or I use um, the this, this piece right here, the, this bronc, or the first version of this. Both of those are really good, and they're great at lining. But this one is amazing at gray shading, soft shading. It's beautiful. It, the blends from dark to light are smooth. They're incredible for what I need to do with my shading. And I can hold it, which is, which is good about pens, more like a paintbrush. So you can get your 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 strokes a lot better when you go in there instead of you know all up on it, like like one of these all up on it, like when you when you do your line, you know. And I like to have big grips. I have my you know, but with this one when I'm shading, I it you know I can just hold it like a paintbrush and just get it in there. But that's that's obviously my opinion on that when it comes to that. If you guys have any questions, um, go ahead and hit me up. Uh, down there and ask me in the comments um, I, I really like this machine and th don't be confused with this one and 
the newest uh, pen version they got out. The V6 is not this one. This is the V5. The V6 has the Japanese motor. This one has the Swiss motor. So, and the other, the V6 has the bigger, as I said earlier. So, I, I really do like this machine, especially for what I use it for. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's what I got to say about that, guys. So, I think that's what everything I had. I'm, I always go off the top of my head. I don't write shit down. I don't edit nothing. I just straight shoot it because I don't give a fuck. So, yeah, that's what that is. If you guys have questions, once again, just let me know and we'll go from there. I'll probably make, depending on how many more machines I get, I'll probably make more um, videos here shortly. Sorry it took so long. A lot of shit's going on, been real busy, so especially with the holidays. So um, everybody have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everything else. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again, hopefully soon.